federal grant will soon be put to use through a new drinking water monitoring program for 193 locations across Alaska. And it's especially important here because of a release uh, because of releases of per and polyfluoral alcohol substances into the environment. Those are considered contaminants and have been associated with the use of what's called aqueous film forming foams, largely during firefighting or fire training activities and at airports around the state. So testing public water systems is meant to be a start toward combating that and making sure potential PFAS levels aren't unsafe. This all comes from the Environmental Protection Agency's Emerging Contaminants Tribal Drinking Water Grant. $494,000 is coming straight to Alaska. And at least here, the idea is to get funding to Alaska Native villages to monitor for PFAS. The testing will be for 29 different chemicals that are considered contaminants in order to establish a baseline of contamination levels in villages across the state. It, it depends on the use of the firefighting foams. It depends on the proximity of the airport or where they were used. Um, so it's really hard. That's why we really want to collect the data because right now we don't know and we won't know unless we collect that data. So that's what this whole sampling project is about. After the testing, the Department of Environmental Conservation and EPA will work together to figure out the next steps. The plan is to start testing next month and get through each one of the 193 communities by the end of next year.